The battle for same-sex marriage continues. <laughs> and one of the movement's mottos is gay is the new black. At least that's what some people are saying. That's on the cover of The Advocate yeah, look at uh, that. this week. And some people don't agree with uh, comparing this to black suffrage. I don't even know if I understand what that word is, suffrage, but I'll, I'll leave it alone. Black suffrage. Well, it's I guess suffering it's, in it. I guess it's when black people had to, you know, they didn't want to die for being black. They didn't want to be lynched. They wanted to to be able to walk through the front door. They wanted, you know, you had Jim Crow laws that said you could only, you could not do certain things if you were black. Do you think this is, because this, the argument is on the other side that this is minimizing exactly what you're saying, that to, to equate what's going on now with these protests and those situations um, during the civil rights movement, uh, it, it just shouldn't even be happening. That, that it minimizes all, all of um, what occurred. I, I, I do want to point out that yes. both these movements began at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, which, which two? The civil rights movement mm -hmm. and the gay rights movement. Which well, I, well, I guess I just... And so, and so I think it's important to understand what I think gay people are saying, and that is... Any time that you as an American citizen have to go out and demand rights that you as an American citizen should have because you're born an American, forget about what your sexual preference is, but just as an American citizen, the right to teach if you want to teach in a school, to right to uh, go and adopt children, all of these rights that you have as American citizens, I don't think they're saying that the struggle is any uh, different, you know, whereas, you know, they lynched and hung and dragged and killed a lot of gay folks. Now, is it the same amount of black folks? No, but you know, they're Americans through and through. And so I think their point is gay people are just saying, listen, we are now fighting for our civil rights too. We I don't think they are equating. The I think yeah, the I don't think they're, they're saying black or white. I think it's just people are just, that's the only way they can deal with it. We're also me. saying that should, they should be fighting for the rights rather than the word marriage. You know, there are a lot of people who are arguing, okay, these, there were four judges who decided what was best for the country all of a sudden. And this Prop 8 came out of that. It was a, a reaction. This wasn't an initiation. This is, was a reaction, indeed. And for people to come out and say, no, we want this to be, we want this to come through the people. We voted. We went into the, we went into the booth, voted Barack Obama and Prop 8. So there were things that people felt when they walked into that booth, and that happened to be the majority. So these protests are, in essence, protesting what the majority want. Yes, they right. are, and that is their right. But I will say that I, I think it's interesting that it's not, I don't think it's any more about the word. I just think that people feel if you don't approve of gay marriage, mm -hmm. then, of course, as I always say, do not marry a gay person. But... <laughs> As you have just, as you find, they call you a bigot if you don't know, approve but, of gay but, marriage. But we're, we're, you know, what they call it. You call me a bigot. I call you a bigot. I don't like what you believe. You don't like what I believe. That's the American way. But I do believe that if I do not subscribe to your way of thinking, then you should, you should understand why I'm going to go protest. It's to me, it's like but abortion that's, rights. That's the thing. I, I understand why I you're protesting. That. I think a lot of people feel like, you know, because a lot of people are saying, you know, a lot of black people voted for Barack, but they voted, you know, um, a, a different way. Mm -hmm. And I think you have a lot of black Christians who feel like we are opening up a Pandora's box because like you said, nobody's going to go where they're not wanted. Mm -hmm. But there are some people who go, because I can, I want to have my dream wedding in a church. And you're saying no. So I might sue you because you're discriminating against and me. And, you know, and so you're impeding upon their rights, their as beliefs. As you know in California, that is against the law. That is against the law. The law is on the books that says you cannot do that. That is on on the books, it was on the books I, when gay marriage right. was. So, but I'm, I'm sim I guess I'm simply saying, listen, if I don't subscribe to your religious beliefs, mm -hmm. I understand how you feel, but I don't want to be forced to live my life because it makes you uncomfortable a certain way. And that's why I say it's like abortion rights. If I'm a person who feels they need to have an abortion, I want to be able to go and deal with that myself. I don't want you to be able to stop me if that's what I think I need to do. Just like you don't want me saying to you, you got to go have an abortion if you decide you want to have a baby. I think but we have to know, find the balance. People, I think people feel like, uh, you know, I, I know when, when I say I am 
pro-choice. People go, well, oh, you're, you're for killing babies. No, I don't want the government telling you what to do with your body. And I think people are feeling the same way. It's like if you're voting, you know, uh, against what, what you know, it's, I, I, I get confused about what is Prop 8. If you're voting yes on Prop 8, then all of a sudden yeah. you're a bigot. Maybe you why aren't they, 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 they protesting? Maybe, maybe one of those, a lot of those voters got mixed up like I, you just did. I don't, no, I don't, I don't think, think they so. did. I don't think I don't so. I think they, 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 they might, might not. not. No. Yeah. Maybe they, they, maybe they, they voted their hearts. Why are they specifically protesting at some churches? You know, the the Mormon churches. Why are they specifically? Why aren't they protesting against uh, Joe Biden and Barack Obama, who said they were they thought marriage is between a man and a Joe woman? Joe Biden the and Barack there. Obama did not put money into Prop 8. That's why they're. Their no, no, yeah, they put no, their no, it does matter it. because people church, did church and state. The separation of church and state. The separation of church and state is why people are protesting. The answer to the question that you're asking. It's not just about the word. It's not just Elizabeth. It's not just about the word. The word marriage is really not the issue. The yeah. issue is the rights. The rights. They should fight for the rights. They should have equal protection under the law. But to call it marriage, but, I, they but do. Obama and Biden are for that. They are for that. They're for equal protection, but they're not for the word marriage but, uh, being used to define the, the unity between a man and a man and a woman and a woman. They're not. They're not. The reason that they used it. Right. said it in the vice presidential okay. debate. Okay. Well, can I, can I also say it. this? It's a lot of people who came out and voted, they are for you having your civil rights. They're not for you redefining the word marriage. A lot of people who voted that way. And that's what I'm saying. That same thing as what Barack said. But again, why do you care what I call my relationship? Because you, it at, there was mine a, as no, well. it does, no, no. And see, this is the thing. Yeah. Just because I believe one thing does not mean you are obligated to believe it. That's the that's and just your because right. the people who voted believe people one thing voted. doesn't mean you have to come and say that they're hating. The, there was Listen, a problem. I'm not people. talking about people hating. Yeah. I am just you know there are people who said you know if you didn't vote for Hillary you are a woman hater. Yeah. There are always people who sure. say if you don't do what we think you should do you're a bonehead. Right. I am simply saying that this particular issue mm -hmm. has so many ramifications down the line for groups of people who don't like blondes or who don't like people with right. dreads. If you get enough money behind it and enough people and enough robocalls and enough <laughs> This wasn't, I don't think you this know, came it, down it, to it money. Came, it came down to people it, wanting it, to protect the institution of marriage. It came down to money. It came down to money. The, the bottom line money. of the question well, I... I didn't vote. I'm probably, I didn't vote, yeah. okay? No, this, no. I'm just saying what I, they the voted The bottom on. line of the question that I always ask people who are against this is if I marry a woman, what is it to you? How does it hurt your marriage? That's, That's what I want to know.